My name is Tom Corrigan. I'm the owner of Blue Collar Fitness. I give kettlebell seminars with my good friend, Mikhail Marshak. Master of Sport recently moved to the United States and we do seminars mainly in the Northwest. Uh, what we're going to cover today is how to do the breathing technique for the jerk. These techniques are the techniques of breathing that is used by the vast majority of the top level sportsmen for the highest numbers. Many beginners tend to hold their breath at certain points. This is a technique where you use very small inhales and exhales corresponding with the movement of the kettlebells and the rest periods to maximize the efficiency of your breathing and of course increase your numbers. So Misha's going to demonstrate the technique and then we're going to break it down slowly for all the moves to be seen. So, as it's held in the rack position, the first dip is a small breath out. Then, as the first drive is a large inhale through the nose. Second dip, he drops down, stands up for the lockout, another small breath in through the nose. In through the nose as he locks out. At top, you can either bring it down, or if you want to breathe at the top, you can take one or two short exhales at the top. And then a big exhale as the bell comes down. Now, the, the main point is everything is efficient and you coincide the breathing happens with the movement at no time do you really hold your breath for more than just an instant, okay? It's a very short time that you hold the breath. You keep the air coming in and out. But that does not mean that you free breathe or try to breathe through your chest. You keep it short and efficient and you just keep breathing instead of holding your breath for longer periods of time and trying to breathe. So that when Misha has it locked out, taking small breaths when he locks it out and holds it he's breathing out stay up and he's not doing this where he's trying to take big breaths in through his chest and then you get movement in the chest movement of the arm movement of the kettlebell of course then prematurely tiring you out starting the handle will be just above your forehead. With the second dip, there's a very small exhale. As your body comes down, the air comes out, and your arm is then locked out. And then for the fourth one, when you finally stand up with the locked out arm and locked out legs, you do a small inhale as you do that. So it's big exhale on the way down. But these four parts work together. Now the last two happen very, very quickly and they are very, very small movements of, of air. But these two are the big ones to focus on where you let a little air out and then sniff a big amount of air in. This is, in a sense, the biggest money push that you have. This is, this is the whole deal with the biggest drive that you want to have. So you have that big inhale as there is a big movement of the bell. And then smaller inhales as there are smaller movements of the bell. 
as you're locking it out. 